Hey, what's going on everybody? This is John again from Volkswagen Planet. 65 degrees in Tampa, Florida. And let me tell you what we're going, what we've done today. If you guys have been following the series on the daily posts, um, we've got the headlights. We're still working at headlights, but we got the, I guess you would call it the running lights. And today I was trying to start and get the um, emergency flashers to work. Let me show you where I've gotten and what we accomplished. So just, just to show you that we are working on the emergency flasher. And, um, and what I mean by that is going from uh, start to finish. It, re it includes the uh, flasher relay, the switch, the wires, fuse, and everything else. Let me take you to the front real quick. This is where all the magic happens, I guess you could say. Um, just for those of you who have been following, you can tell it's starting to go in a nice flowing pattern instead of being a whole rat's nest. It is still uh, quite a bit of a mess, but it's really starting to come together, all starting to make sense. I uh, had a couple questions in the past videos asking what are these blue stickers, these things. Well, if you followed along in the uh, wiring series, uh, this would be like, I think this goes to the um, turn signal. It is an identifier, the way I identified stuff, meaning this is a black and white wire. It's going on location L, so you're not having to run back and forth and stuff like that. But I did get the emergency flasher connected. Um, still don't have power to it because we are working on the grounds. Got the uh, flasher itself working. I know it's not a factory OEM, but... I don't have one currently, so hopefully by the end of the week that'll change. So I got all the way to the end of the uh, flasher, and I had one more wire to hook up. Oops. And that's the one on the side of the housing, which is the ground. Now, on this particular ground, get the wire here. It is a brown wire, so we know it's factory. This one here is going to hook up to the... Uh, I guess the housing of the clip, but then this is the first one of, you know, it, it starts branching off. So this is where we're starting to get in the whole entire, um, I guess you could say assembly or putting the car together. All the wiring are starting to go together and starting to um, intertwine with each other. So I'm really happy about this. So back to the wire. So once we come off the ground of the uh, switch, then we've got two other locations we got and this is where I got to find where they hook up to and we got the very end so I know that it's more than likely gonna have to go to the grounding star here as you can tell there's already some wires but this is your your grounding unit on uh, most bugs have this here all the ones I've seen so I know from like 68 to newer it's gonna be like a little star it's right on the side of your fuse box so that's always I guess you could say your grounding block or a grounding block for the bugs. Um, another long rounding one, this here, I think about 90% sure. This goes on the uh, back of the speedometer bracket, the little bar. Let's see if I can find it. Anyways, there's a black bar that goes up and down. And I think that connects to that. But also, as you can tell, um, it's running a couple of the um, ends from there on, too. So that's what I mean by, it, you know, almost to the end of this, but it's all being intertwined together. So I'm pretty sure that that's going to go into one of those stars also. But time will tell. And even like, uh, it's just all the grounds, hooking all the grounds up. Grounds seem to be about 90% of all electrical problems. Um, and just really thankful to be able to have a box of wires like this. And I was in a bind today. And I'm not sure if this was the wire I was looking for. But it was something like this. And this is what I wanted to show you. I took this out of the, um, the Beetle, the 74 standard Beetle because... It's a parts car, and that's the one they chopped the rear end out of. But this is what I wanted to show you. It would take you a really long time, and I don't even think you could possibly build this. 
but it's got the two plugs that goes into uh, one one outlet goes into two uh, spades but this is already wired up it's already got the clips and on this end it was ripped apart but it's real quick and simple to just put a, uh, a wire end on this a connector on this so why throw this away and why make your wiring harness look all janky when you can just um, still keep the factory color codes the factory way they came in so when you when and if you do have a problem down the road, you can still keep the same color codes and everything else. I know I've seen some wires like this on Samba, but um, like I said, it just it was just really nice and real. Uh, it, just, it was just really really grateful just to have a a, a box of wires to um, pick through and not have to go through use chopped up wires. And this is a I guess you could say a tip of the day. How many of you guys out there have gone to the parts store, you know, and bought like a, a rotor or a some wire ends or, um, I don't know, just condenser, fuses, whatever, and they walk away? Yeah, I've got gremlins in my garage too, but this is what I, this is how I take care of that problem. I take the whole entire bag, make sure it's all electrical, and all I do is just toss it in the, the bin, put the lid on it, and call it a day. It's really that simple, guys. Um, so I want to say thank you guys to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for your loyal support. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And if you guys uh, have not yet entered, go back, I think, to I think last video or, or a couple of videos ago, running a $25 gift certificate giveaway. Check the video out. It's real quick and simple. Hit the subscribe button, comment below on that video and uh, let's get you entered and possibly a $25 gift certificate in your hand. So again guys, thank you. Stay warm. It's about, I don't know, 65, 67 degrees here in Tampa. The sun's going down, getting ready to call it a day. So we'll catch you on tomorrow's video. God bless, take care, stay warm, and have a good one.